Yeah, so obviously I'll have to coach Maya what he wants to do, but I'd probably be for for the future also. We kind of asked some good natured questions about this last year. Did get that coach? Gwen seems to be a little bit of a celebrity. <laughs> right, let's not play that game, of course. <laughs> well, he's getting, uh, he's getting some, uh, some work out of <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not, you know, I know people are a little bit like hysteria about the past things, but I'm not, I'm not. You just keep playing and play your way through that. It's kind of like a batter. You know, when you're, when you're just not hitting the ball, you know, you're flying out instead of dri driving into the power alley. It's real close, we'll get it right. These are good, real good players. Real good corners. Um, they're very close calls, but if the flag is thrown, it's it's interference. So we'll we'll keep tweaking it. You know, whenever we have an issue around here, we put laser lights on it and we figure out how to get it fixed. And it's not where they're very far off, and those will turn into those will turn into productive plays. One of the questions I get a lot is they're not turning their head. Should they be turning their head? Can you address that issue? Sure. If you are in position where we call it an advantaged position. So you're even with the receiver or you're over the top of the receiver, then you lean and locate. That's the verbiage. If you're behind them, you don't because all you're going to get to see is you know, somebody celebrating over your shoulder because the guy's going to catch the ball. Now, part of it is, why are you behind him? Why are you trailing? Some coverages are designed that way and others aren't. So the ones that aren't, you have to be on top of them. And that helps a little bit. So it's, there's not one single issue. But I've watched every play that our corners have played this year very closely, like in addition to what we've already watched. And I sat down and, with Coach Combs and because look, if there's an issue, we're going we're gonna to fix it. And uh, I don't think we're far off. With Kendall, he's the one with that. Right. Do you worry about his confidence? How is he dealing with it? What do you teach him? What do you tell him? Um, I'm not worried about his confidence because I know him. If it were just a person that I didn't know, I'd be worried about his confidence. But uh, he can see, I mean, he's a football guy, so he can see if I just do this, you know. Like the one, he does a great job of pressing him and the ball's thrown and he gets DPI, you know, so that one's a tough one. Um, so what, the whole thing the was it a holding or a DPI, yeah. whatever it was? He had his hands on him on the, on the three step slant. You know? and sometimes that happens if you play press coverage, that's what happens once in a while. Greg, you've been in a lot of visiting locker rooms in your career. This came up yesterday with, some, with another coach in the league. I wonder if you have any personal horror stories from your past of difficult places to go visit in, in pregame in a, in a locker room. I do, but I'm not going to bring them up. I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> well, okay, well, what's the – if they're bad, I mean, is that a problem? Like, what do you need to get ready in a visiting locker room? This is, this is my belief. Whatever's dealt to you, you find a way – to either ignore it or make it an advantage. So if you can't make it an advantage, then you, it's not going to be a disadvantage. You, you don't you don't even talk about it. You don't even acknowledge it. Uh, and it's not just with the players. You don't do it with anybody. Just go about your business. Because what, what do you really need to do in a locker room other than get dressed? Speaking of visiting locker rooms, how strange will it be to be in Rutgers? That's where I thought he was room. heading. Yeah, so I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't really know what he's talking about, the other story. But um, I've been in there many times because we use that for other stuff. It'll be weird, but life's weird, right? Just keep rolling. Can you reflect, I mean, when you took over Rutgers, they were very little. You took over the top 10 program at one point. I mean, reflect on your time there and how surreal this week's going to be for you. Well, I'm not a big sentimentalist, but um, I really, you know, being from New Jersey, uh, it was really neat to be able to go there and do what we did. You know, my four kids spent the majority of their childhood there. We were there 11 years. So it's a, it'll always have a special place in my heart. But uh, you know, now it's all eyes forward. We have, what is it? We got eight, eight straight league games now? Yeah, starting with Rutgers. So. You got you to win. You, Greg, are you, you spending a lot of Kevin Wilson trying to give you any hints on how to handle that this week? <laughs> Uh, we, we don't have time to even think of that. I got to be honest with you. Because you put a lot of effort, you put a lot of effort, grind, you know, time, whatever you want to call it, into building that program. <laughs> you know, people gave you, obviously, you got an NFL job out of it. Uh, when it but uh, did it hurt a little bit to see it slide the last several years? I mean, just, you know, just what, what sort of your, your reaction to that? Well, one of the reasons people said I was crazy to go there when I did. Yeah. You know, we were at University of Miami. It was an incredible program. It was humming. 
but I'm born and raised there. My whole family lives there. So um, at the time, it was a dream of mine, which is a weird dream, but it was a dream of mine to make college football in New Jersey like it is in so many other great states. And, um, you know, we happen to be blessed to be in the best of all the best. I mean, Ohio State is it. But um, because my whole family still lives there, and now I have a personal relationship with the head coach there, you know, I, I, I certainly want them to, to succeed. The guy who succeeded me with, at Rutgers was a, one of my assistants. So I certainly wanted him to do well. But more importantly, it's where I'm from. So I, I really, I think Chris is going to get it where it needs to be, and uh, I want that to happen, just not this weekend. Hey, Greg, Grant, uh, Grant said he's looking forward to seeing you, too. Two more I mean, questions, uh, folks. That, he's got a special place in your heart, doesn't he? Yeah, that's my guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, too. I mean, obviously, you're looking forward to seeing him, too. Sure. There'll be a few people, you know, that I'll get to see, but, you know, it's a business trip when you go there. So, uh, you, yeah. you, you know, you're mature enough and professional enough to enjoy seeing someone, but you got to lock in because it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough job. And uh, we need to go take care of our business. It's more, more important than anything else. Well, you have a lot Baker, of Ron Baker said that he, during special team sessions, actually works with the defensive linemen. What does that say about his commitment is savvy and, and has it paid off for him? Well, it has paid off. We have the best pass rush teacher in the, I think, in the world, Larry Johnson. And that's a big statement, but I think he's unbelievable. So if you can go down and work with Larry Johnson and work on some pass rush techniques um, and then utilize them in your pass rush as a, as a, as a linebacker, that's great. You know? he's, he's a special player. I, mean, I think the sky's the limit for him. What does it take to win at Rutgers? I mean, obviously there is a recruiting base there. Well, it you... takes the same thing it takes everywhere else. You need, to recruit, you need to hire great coaches. You need to recruit great players. You need to coach the heck out of them and care for them and build a culture and all that stuff. But it's no different than anywhere else. You know, people like to make that. It's no different. You just got to go do it. Thanks, guys. Great. Thanks, 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 Greg. Thanks, Greg.